Danielle Jackson. Thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Three Minutes of Real Estate. Today, I'm jumping on and I am going to tackle a conversation I just had and a healthy dialogue around the benefits and success of a full integration model. And for those of you that are wondering what I'm referring to, a full integration model is when a sponsor or syndicator not only has the asset management or investment management piece in house, but also brings the property management piece. And in the case of a value add uh, investor, brings the construction management piece in house. And some of the very clear benefits, especially coming out of this last 20 months, or still in, I should say, 20 months of this COVID environment and what it has done to construction delays and timelines, that transparency piece is critical. Uh, not only does it allow a, a more successful investment management side with regard to cost controls, but it also allows the investment manager to manage the timeline against their business plan um, to achieve those, those target returns for investors. The next piece is communication. So again, back to uh, issues around materials or timelines, that direct communication and hopefully a higher level of, of accountability by it being full integration is another key success uh, or a key element uh, to achieving that success with that model. Now, one comment that I hear often is the, the issue around conflict of potential interest uh, or lining of pockets. Uh, but the key is, is that as the investor, you should have visibility. And again, back to that transparency piece in the initial, initial underwriting model, you should see what they're charging for property management fees and what the construction management fees are. And I would ensure that you are asking the right questions in the due diligence process to uh, make sure that they are not charging above market rates because that would be a bit of a red flag when looking at that full integration model. So hope this was helpful as you're looking to analyze sponsors that perhaps have that model and or don't um, and the benefits and drawback for each. And if you have additional questions or would like to speak to this any further, please drop me a line, shoot me an email, and I would love to connect. Thanks again for tuning in, and I look forward to the next time. Bye-bye.